Hello, in this video I have come up with the analysis on a topic of United States administration change impact on India's foreign policy. How the recent change in the US administration and governance and government is going to have its impact on India's foreign policy. So we shall see various heads under this. Recently we know that there, there uh, are held this United States president elections in which the administration is handed over to the present president of the US, the 46th president, that is Joe Biden, from the prior earlier former president, that is Donald J. Trump. So how this is going to have an impact on India's foreign policy? This change in power is from Republican to Democratic. So now we shall see first with the international concerns. So how international uh, global society is impacted with the change and what uh, things we can expect or what things are going to be continued, discontinued, all of that has to be observed in these issues of Israel versus Gulf states. With the prior government, there were negotiations between Israel and Gulf states. We know that there are always points of contention between Israel and Gulf states around it. So now there are diplomatic relations between this because of the negotiations that are mediated by the prior US government and how these negotiations are going to have their future with the present government that are initiated with the prior government has to be observed by us. Next we have this Saudi Arabia which is very fine with the prior government of the US because United States in uh, its earlier government imposed sanctions on Iran. So Iran is famous for oil exports but now Saudi Arabia is on play because Iran and Saudi Arabia are huge competitors in oil and now when US has come up with these sanctions of oil on Iran, Saudi Arabia was finding its business going well. So it was fine with the uh, prior government and now it has to see to what extent the present government is going to uh, do with its interest. And West Asia peace plans were also taken up by the earlier government and these are they going to be continued by the present government or not has to be observed. Next we have Iran nuclear deal. Earlier during the Obama period when Obama was a president in Republican party, he came up with JCPOA for Iran that is Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. So this was uh, healthy to the nuclear deal of Iran but later it was discontinued by uh, the Democratic party and now as Republican Oh, sorry, it was discontinued by the Republican Party. Now as Democratic Party has come into play, how well it is going to be continued or it's going to be restricted has to be seen. Now we shall see the topic that we are discussing presently, the main point of India's concerns and interests. So we have our foreign policy with China, Iran and West Asia. Basically our foreign policy with these three countries future has to be decided by US. So I have come up with these three countries only that they are China, Iran and West Asia. Now I shall be giving an, uh, just an idea on each topic of these. That, that is first we start with quad dynamics. Quad is quadrilateral dynamics. So quadrilateral is about four. So this is a group of four countries. They are US, India, Japan and Australia. So these four countries have come to maritime agreements on Indian Ocean and about uh, certain border issues of South China Sea. So this is a maritime agreement group but it is an informal group. There is no formalization to this group. The main agenda behind this group is anti-China coalition. So to contain China in its uh, and its intrusion into Indian Ocean and its intrusion into and its claim into South China Sea. So to contain China these four countries have come forward. Uh, we can say this as anti-China coalition. But to be uh, telling out to the world, it is called as the military strategic grouping, but this is what we call it. But the intention behind Quad is anti-China Sea. Quad was playing so well with the earlier government of USA. And the present government, we do not know its stand regarding China. So this has to be observed and its future depends on how the present government is going to tackle with Quad. So our foreign policy will also be tailored according to US play in quad dynamics. The future needs of quad or formalization of it. It's an informal group, but for any group to be successfully doing its agenda is to formalize it. So this is a need and institutionalize this uh, grouping. We must have a good institution for this quad grouping 
which we expected from the uh, earlier government but uh, the present government's interest is very much unknown about this and expansion quad is going to be expanded because certain countries are showing their interest towards joining in quad that is they are taiwan and south korea so how well the present government is going to deal with its expansion because it was uh, an initiative of the earlier government so is the present government going to continue this well or not is india's concern next we have strategic alliance india had good strategic alliance with uh, the us with the earlier government with the signing of foundational agreement so we had signed foundational agreements during uh, the trump's administration now we must also uh, are not certain about the continuation of these agreements with the change in the government so we also bought so much of hardware military hardware costing billions of dollars from the uh, us us government earlier and we also had arms deal with the government so our strategy as a whole was very fine with the earlier government now it's it's in a question uh, that is uh, whether we are strategic alliance is going to be continued well or we need to change our foreign policy according to the present government or we are going to be nurtured well with this strategic alliance uh, agreements and all is a question the next thing is our future needs in strategic alliances we need to have a military alliance with the us because we always have this contention with china so our military equipment or our military uh, association with us is a very important thing to what extent this is going to be nurtured is a question and india is a non aligned country we are not going to be aligned with any uh, other country right from the time of jawaharlal nehru but alliance is also needed now because we need us support so much against china so for example in 1962 when we had war with china uh, our prime minister then prime minister jawaharlal nehru we uh, sought to the help of usa so this is how our past was there that uh, we also had this alliance with the us in re- relation to military things and all so this if we had any war with china even in our future if you are going to have it we need to take the help of usa so our strategic alliance is also under question and our foreign policy has to be in this view next territorial disputes we have our territorial disputes our own problems so our territorial integrity must also be helped by the us and this is a continental topic this is not just confined to a country and a country but a continental issue so we need usa which leads the whole uh, globe we need its help in continental issues like this territorial integrity with the earlier government we had good patronage with this particular thing and now we are uncertain of it we must see forward uh, with this issue and usa has to give out satellite imagery of our territory for all the territory in the whole in all countries of in the globe uh, usa is going to give satellite imagery of uh, for all the territories so in this also we need its help to keep our territory as our own, with our own name so we need geospatial cooperation also this is the name given to this uh, help in satellite imagery and territories so the future need is about support and protection of our integrity so our foreign policy must also keep it in mind about this particular territorial help from the us and india and iran we can have good iranian oil imports now because as the present government is not as uh, uh, as strict towards iran as the previous government was so we can have good imports from of oil from iran and our pharma goods can be exported well and oil investments also can be done ha- happily now so this is a positive thing with the present government and our future needs are infrastructure investments in iran so we started some railway projects in iran and these can go smoothly because the present government is not so much strict or sanctioning about iran next the final say is our foreign policy must be based on our interest and need but not according to the government that comes into working over there in the us it's about our interest as long as our interests and needs are catered our foreign policy has to be framed in that way it has to be made in that way to the benefiction benefactory benef- to our own country the foreign policy has to, has to benefit our country it's not about the government which is in play in, in the country we are speaking right now about so this is the basic idea i want to give about the impact on india's foreign policy by the change in us administration so this is not going to be impacted so much that is my final say that has to be planned according to our interests so this is the basic view and thank you